Who's there? Doctor. Doctor who? <laughs> <laughs> get it? Because Doctor, the Doctor who? No? You don't get... No? No? You've heard that one? Okay. No great sense of humour you haven't. Okay, let's get on with the review. So, knock knock, uh, I really enjoyed this uh, episode, um, I thought um, it was very creepy um, and I think David Suchet did a great performance as the landlord and uh, I liked it, um, the location where the house was, from what I've heard it was at Westwood Drumbrun, sorry I can't pronounce that right, where where the house was, where Blink was, where all the angels were, so yeah, um, it was it was good, um, it starts off with um, Bill and her universe, university mates um, trying to find somewhere to live, um, so they go to like um, different places, but um, I don't think they've got the... Uh, the money for it. So um, a strange man, which is played by David Suchet, of course, uh, asks them, uh, "Do you need? Uh, do you have anywhere to live?" And um, yeah, I, I mean, like I would, I would follow him um, just to just to keep uh, just to, just to stay somewhere for the time being. But if he's very creepy. I wouldn't, so I don't know why Bill and her mates joined in him, but, uh, but yeah, it was very um, interesting. Uh, the one thing I like about uh, Bill in this, um, that sh she doesn't always travel with the Doctor, she has a life of her own, uh, which I think is so real. This is what I love about Bill, she's just, she's so real, as I said, uh, I liked it how um, Bill said that the doctor is her uh, is her grand uh, is is her is her granddad. Uh, I don't I don't want to be racist though, but um, I think it'd be quite obvious that that that's not her granddad uh, because yeah, different colour. Sorry that if I'm sounding racist and try not to be that offensive, uh, but yeah. Um, the, the, I liked it how the uni students, uh, knew about the Doctor, you know, like, oh yes, Doctor, legend, and all that, I, I thought that was cool. I liked it of the university students, um, I didn't find them annoying, um, I, I thought they were very likeable. Um, the only thing which I thought was a bit, which I thought was a bit, um, I don't think it was actually that necessary that um, all the uh, uni students got killed and and then later on they uh, they got they got coming back to life. So I wasn't really happy about that. I think they should have stayed dead. Um, and there's one certain uh, uni student that I want to talk about later. So I will get on with him. I will talk about him later. I like this scene, uh, you know, like a, like a good gentleman helping uh, a young lady out with their uh, with their bags and uh, stuff the stuff uh, they've got for the house. Uh, uh, you know, I liked his reaction find that when he found out that Bill was a lesbian. You know, like you know, us, us men always always get disappointed when we find out that like somebody we fancy is a lesbian. <laughs> 
this scene I thought was creepy, but you start laughing at the end of it because you knew before you start watching it, you knew that it was the Doctor all along, but you still got to say it was still kind of creepy. Um, you know, it's like a horror film, you know, like when you watch, uh, when you watch like a horror film and then uh, you hear something creepy and you get all that creepy music uh, and then... Uh, and and then uh, and, and then you just realised oh it was just you know nothing really scary it was just like that I thought that was g really good uh, for a Doctor Who episode to make uh, to make it re a real horror episode. Now I have to say uh, the comedy for the Twelfth Doctor was written perfectly because in th as much as I loved in Series Nine. The only problem was, uh, don't get me wrong, I love the Rocker Doctor, but I have to say he was being written a bit like the Life of Doctor, you know, like with the comedy, but I think it suits more the Life of Doctor than the Twelfth Doctor does. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the comedy balance uh, for the Twelfth Doctor in this episode was perfect. Now, the reason why I want to talk about uh, this character, Harry, um, when I was watching the episode, when it aired, um, my when I was watching it with my mum and dad, uh, they, my dad said, who, who does he remind you of? And I said, I don't know. And then he said, he reminds me of you. He's like, really? Um, but I wasn't paying much attention to the episode. I mean, I wasn't paying much attention to him, but I was more concentrating on the story. Um, now, 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 I, when I, when the episode finished, I went back up, I went back on, um, social media and I was getting tagged, uh, in a load of pictures of this guy and saying that he looks a lot like me. But now that I've seen some pictures, I have to say he does look a lot like me. Oh, uh, imagine if if I saw him at a convention. That, that would be mad. Um, yeah, it was absolutely unbelievable. Um, how many people were asking me this? Um, it's it is basically the enemy of the world all over again. The second Doctor and Salamander, but I'm Salamander. He's the second Doctor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it it is funny that I'm that I'm getting noticed. It's very new to me. I think the only time where that picture looks a bit identical is when I met is when I looked at when I, I saw a cosplay um, guy at, um, at Comic Con. Um, it was play. It was cosplaying Jon Snow, and I was at Manchester Comic Con, and um, I think this is the time where this picture actually looks a bit identical. It it, it kind of looks like a younger picture and older picture. I look like the young version, and he looks like the older version. I, and I looked at uh, this guy up. He's called Colin Ryan, and I f and I believe. Um, he is a voice actor in the Final Fantasy game. I've never played it though, but uh, but whoever's played it, then you know what you know what it is. Uh, but yeah, it is pretty cool that I've got someone who looks a lot like me. <laughs> I mean, perhaps I was him, of course, or perhaps he is me. Who knows? Who? Knows. And I also liked it, um, the bit, I liked in this scene, you know, like the Doctor mentioning Har Harriet Jones is asking uh, the landlord who's the Prime Minister now, like Margaret Thatcher, even though that she's, uh, even though that was years ago, you know, I like how the Doctor's like mixing up the dates and that, the years. Uh, so I'm glad that the Doctor's mentioned Harriet Jones, you know, he's, I'm, I'm glad that, uh, He's still remembering uh, some faces, as the curator would say in the day of the Doctor, uh, or the life of the Doctor says, I never forget a face. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was a good call back. Now, I remember, I remember before the episode came out, I remember uh, this clip being on uh, YouTube. Uh, now, I know that they have done for every episode so far for series 10 and they've brought a little clip out for the next time episode and I remember this scene uh, 
just uh, th- this is this bit's creepy. I'll, it's when uh, when one of Bill's un- uni student uh, mates went inside the went, went inside his room, and uh, you know when we heard all those knocks, you know I thought that was creepy. And the the house itself, uh, you know, like hearing cr- creaking uh, everywhere. But you know that's what a haunted house is like. They're really though, but. Well, the next time when I hear something creaking, I am not going to, to I am not going to be the same again. I'm going to be a bit creeped out. Uh, the, the the next time I hear something, uh, when I hear something, uh, in my house creaking, you never know. It might be Clara under under on under the bed again, just like in Listen. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> well, I don't I don't think a lot of you would would like Clara under you, but well, that's if you really like her, then yeah, that would make sense though, but I really like Clara, so, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, this, this was a creepy scene. Now, the thing I have to say about this scene, um, I thought it was a really good twist, uh, finding out that, 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 uh, this wasn't, um, that, that the wooden woman wasn't uh, the landlord's daughter, it turns out to be her mother. And, uh, you know, the only way that she's ke- that he's keeping her alive is to get other people and, you know, to become a part of the house. Um, which, you know, which, which sounds a bit cruel, but, you know, he's only doing it to keep his mother alive. Um, but... In a way, in, in some sort of creepy way, I, I find that kind of sweet in a way. But you know, as as she said, you know, it, it, you know, you've done your best. Our times, our time is gone now. Now I have to say, um, not many stuff scare me in Doctor Who though. But this scene actually did, and uh, the last doc, the only Doctor Who story that has ever creeped me out was the was the empty child and the doctor dances in the way uh the beatles uh went on to uh the, the landlord and the wooden woman i thought that was very creepy yeah it it, it really got me um uh, i don't know about you guys though but yeah th- this scene really gave me the, the heebie-jeebies uh, but yeah, very very creepy stories, and I don't very, very creepy scene, and I don't and yeah, it's kind of a new experience for me to, to see this scene in Doctor Who because uh yeah, it, it was very creepy this scene. It really did creep me out. Now I have to say uh the vault scene again. I think we're gonna be getting this every episode at the end. You know, like, you know, we all know that it's a big story at now, and I'm liking Nardo a little bit now, because he seems to be having a bit more of a purpose in this episode. He, he might be behind it, you know, he might be telling the Doctor some... He might not be telling the Doctor that he, something that he knows about. Uh, and um, when we find... We, we hear... Um, we, we hear... Sorry about that, that was my laptop. Um... But when we hear a, when uh, the doctor tells Nardle to go away, uh, I like. Well, I think it kind of uh, given it. It's given it a bit away now that uh, the that we heard like piano. We, we had we heard the piano going on, and, and you know I'm thinking that what's behind the vault it's it's got to be missing now because i was hoping it to be johnson but i heard in episode six we're going to find out that we're going to find that out uh and and the only disappointment i had a bit that the doctor went inside the vault and he knows what it what what it's going to be and i wanted to see the shock on the doctor's face uh if he didn't go in uh, so, I don't know, you know, time will tell, you know, things might turn out to be different though, but, yeah, it's all, this this is all i got to say about this episode. But all in all, uh, you know, the episode was creepy, uh, I, I can't, 
I can't remember the writer's name. It was Mike something. I can't, I can't remember his last name. I can't even really be bothered to search it up at the minute, though. But, yeah, all in all, this this episode was really creepy. Uh, now, I have to say, not many Doctor Who episodes actually cre- creeped me out. The only Doctor Who episode that creeped me out in the past was The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances. But, you know, but when that came out, I was very young. So, you know, I, I was getting used to Doctor Who at the time. But yeah, th- this this episode I found really creepy. I thought the set was good. Uh, David Suchet uh, gave a brilliant performance. Uh, I'm glad we know a bit more about the vault now. And all in all, I give this story uh, an 8 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please give me a like and I shall see you next time. Bye. Ah, hello. Why not subscribe to Adam Time Lord Fishwick's YouTube channel? It's very good, you know. <laughs> Goodbye.